They came in the middle of the night, and they had a plan. Looked like one person would put the cart in neutral and push it out, and then the other one would get the other cart started. Once the thieves slowly got 11 of these carts to the road, they loaded them onto a trailer hooked up to a pickup truck and disappeared. Well, you said that violation feeling, and then you have that anger or sadness. Since 2021, about 200 carts have been stolen from at least 17 Ontario golf courses, 10, sometimes 12 at a time. In one case, they took 45, leading some to believe this is the work of professionals. To move one golf cart, some guy can do that with a, with a pickup truck. To move six golf carts, you need a flatbed. You need to be, um, you know, working as a team. During the pandemic, supply chain issues meant a shortage of stock, so prices of these carts shot up, doubled in fact, in both the new and used market. This in turn has fueled a thriving secondary market, according to at least one distributor. We've never seen anything like this. Eight of Rob Davis's carts were stolen from this warehouse in March. Trailer parks, cottages, uh, farmers, everybody that needs a, uh, a utility type vehicle, you know, is, is a buyer for used golf cars. Davis and some golf course owners say they've scoured online sites like Kijiji for them. So far, nothing has turned up. With so many thefts in so many different locations, they're calling on police to find out if they're linked. I'm hoping that the police services are communicating with each other. The Ontario Provincial Police says it's investigating the theft at Settlers Ghost Golf Course, but would not confirm whether the others are connected. They also do not answer the other big question in the golf community. Where exactly are these carts going? Lisa Shing, CBC News, Toronto.